HAI has historically been involved in a whole range of primary health care projects and activities which included reproductive health, nutrition projects, health education, AIDS education, a whole range of activities that you'd find in a primary health care system in, in the developing world. The AIDS crisis has um, certainly meant that HAI has had to refocus much of its work in recent years on directly tackling this uh, incredible crisis in the history of Mozambique. And what's important about um, the, the whole commitment to AIDS treatment and the, the amount of money that is finally arriving to help uh, make AIDS treatment possible is that it really is feeding into the health system in a way that should actually improve programs across the board. The kinds of money coming in for AIDS treatment, the kind of money that is being made available by donors can now be applied to improving laboratories, to imp improving physical infrastructure, to the training of more and more personnel. So in a positive sense, the, the AIDS funding coming in will, will be able to touch on virtually all the programs that the Ministry of Health offers to its population. Sophia was able to get HIV treatment and good prenatal care her healthy baby was born in the Beira Central Hospital. When her baby Antonio was six weeks old, she went back to the clinic to have him tested for the HIV virus. Two weeks later, Sophia returns for the results of her baby's HIV test. A high's philosophy has always been that um, activities need to be integrated, but we always have to be vigilant. Um, there was a, a tremendous emphasis on AIDS treatment in the public health world um, today, and we have to ensure that the, the funding going to AIDS treatment will improve all services across the board. And that very much uh, comes from HAI's philosophy of how we approach primary health care. Temos que ter condições clínicas, temos que ter laboratório, temos que ter alguém que nos atende, temos que ter medicamentos. Eu acho que nós precisamos que o mundo nos entenda que nós somos capazes de aderir como qualquer um ser humano que quer viver. Já tenho coragem, mas antes não tinha. Só que dia após dia, né, uma pessoa sempre aprende, já estou mais forte e já sei o que eu faço. E agora já conheço também como ajudar outra pessoa que está neste momento a sentir da mesma maneira que eu senti atrás. Porque é difícil passar aquela fase. Então, nós temos filhos para criar, nós temos um país para construir. Nós queremos deixar uma geração que vai poder fazer a história, porque estamos ficando extintos.